Hey guys, I'm back with a project share today. Um, I went to a little crafty day um, that was hosted my, by my friend Carla. Carla is actually, um, I think she said she changed her YouTube channel name. It's um, Carla Keenan on YouTube. Um, I'll put a link to her channel in the description box if you're interested. But this is what I worked on during the crafty day. And again, I'll apologize for the dye <laughs> on my hands. Um, this is from uh, a hair dye that I got done last weekend at the salon. And because I wait to wash my hair for like a week um, before I do it, this is the result of the transfer that happens. And you can see what color I had it dyed. Um, anyway... I wanted to share with you what I made at the craft day um, and thanks again to Carla for hosting it. I know she watches my YouTube channel so anyway these are the two stamps that I actually um, played around with. I did a lot of the stamp and die cutting before I left um, to go up there um, and visit her. Um, there were 14 ladies in total that were crafting that day and I took with me some tags um, that I wanted to make for Christmas. So Christmas in July, why not? Um, but these are the two stamps that I used. Um, these are both retired. They are from PSX and occasionally you will see them posted on um, eBay, but they are not cheap. So you, just so you know, um, if you do search for these, it's G1152 and G1150. Both of them are from PSX, and there is a third one. Look at how much they cost originally. Um, they're not selling for this for them now, but um, you can still find these on eBay occasionally. There is a third one for gingerbread, and it's tucked in my bag, which I have not unpacked yet. I did not use it for this particular set of crafting, but wanted to share with you the stamps. I also used this particular paper tray ink die. You get one in a set. Um, and there's an actual sentiment strip that goes across. This is the quilted tag sale 11, I think. Um, but I have two, actually I have more than two, um, because I like to run, you know, multiples at a time. So it speeds up the die cutting. So I use this tag set. Uh, I also use this die from Impression Obsession Stamps. I think this is one of Anna's dies. This is the number here. And I think this is still available. I, I think you can get it, you know, at, at a couple of different places. But this is what I use for some of my tags. And then I brought out some other things. I use this uh, rounded um, square die set. And I think this is an MFT set. I also use this one, which is a square, um, like a... It looks like it's like a cross stitch all over it. And I think this, mm, I don't know who this is from. This might be my, from Memory Box, but I'm not sure. So it's a very similar square set. And that's because they, um, this nesting sets, they fit in this paper tray ink die set. So you'll see my um, finished tags. Oh, it's actually Gina Marie Designs, perhaps, that does that. I think that's what this goes with. Um, and then this one, which I had made my first tag with, uh, this is a Lifestyle Crafts We Are Memory Keepers die. And I lost the die that I used. The the nesting one that goes, that you can see there's a big gap here. I lost it. I don't know where I put it. So it'll turn up somewhere. I used this for my first tag and then I couldn't find the die again. So I had to go through my stash and pull something else. That's why you see that out. Um, I also use some of these dies here. You can see this is another Impression Obsession die right here. This is from Anna White. It's uh, Cookies. Um, this particular one is from, let's see, Divinity Designs. Yeah. And it is called Baking Tools CBD 130. So you can see what it's in, but that's where that comes from. I also have this um, cookies. I didn't actually, I cut them, but I didn't use them. I use this set, which is a, is that from? <laughs> I think this is from Memory Box. I could be wrong. 
I don't have all the packaging in here because this is what I took with me. But this set I think is from Memory Box. You can see it's got little uh, measuring cups and then stir stir spoons. Um, and then the spatula, I don't know re remember where that comes from. I cut it loose from something else. And now I'm not sure where it comes from. But you'll see those on my project. So I wanted to show you that. Um, and then the last thing I have is this um, October afternoon Make It Merry 8x8 paper pad. Some of my tags are made with this paper, as well as some are from Frank Garcia's sugar cookie um, Christmas paper pad. So let me share these first. These are made using the apron die from Impression Obsession. Um, so they all look pretty simple pretty much the same. I um, Here's the apron die. I didn't use all the layers on it because I put the um, little recipe stamp for sugar cookies on here. Now, oh yeah, I forgot I used these. I cut pre-cut some tags that I had made last year probably and had embossed them. So I just used them here because it goes with the paper um, and then added a little um, candy cane charm. And then this is some red twine from May Arts. And I think this is from an old Hobby Lobby packaging. I don't know. I think that's either Hobby Lobby or Mag Michaels, one of the two. And I stamped it in some cocoa bean ink from Paper Tray. And then also inked the edges with my dauber, my finger dauber. I did add some water here. I wanted it to look like you had spilled the milk that's in the recipe. Um, this is the sugar cookies one. And these are the little ties. There are actual... Um, there aren't holes made to the apron, but there are for this little piece right here and that are popped up. So I put a hole through the back piece using my um, pokey tool, and then you can tie it to a package this way. So I thought that would be cute. You can give some Christmas cookies or something like that to the, the person. Um, and here's another one. These again are all October afternoon papers. Um, for the apron part. This one is stamped with uh, pure poppy ink from Paper Tray Ink. I did not ink the edges on any of this. Um, there's a spatula. I used um, some shiny metallic silver paper. There's a sugar cookie here that I had inked up and I rolled my, what do you call that thingy? Tracing wheel over it. And then I added this little um, cookie cutter um, I think it's meant to be like a embellishment. It's in a button pack, I believe. So there's this one, slightly different. And then there's this one, which again, same paper pad. I added a vintage um, bell onto here. I don't think it, oh, it does, it does make noise. And I used a little pin um, for that in the same color and then added again one of these little embellishments of holly. So these are the apron tags that I did. And these all use the sugar cookie recipe. The other tags that I made are actually um, made using sh the, some of the sugar cookie recipe and some of the, um, what was the other one? Um, what's the other stamp? Shortbread. I knew it started with an S. So I had shown one of these. Um, I think this is the first one I did. So it uses that Lifestyle Crafts die that I, that I cannot find. I misplaced it. Um, and there's the little sugar cookies from Impression Obsession. What I did to make these are I cut it from vanilla... What is it called? Cardstock from um, Paper Tray. This vintage cream. So you can see what it's already the color of it is. And then I inked it with some uh, Lawn Fawn ink in short, I think it's called something cookie, but that's how you get this little uh, cooked look. And then I used a pink um, ink from Tailored Expressions to ink the center part because it's two die cuts that it actually makes um, from the one die. So you have to, you, what I do is do all the outside inking first with the, the die piece um, that's in the center in there. And then I, pu I push it out and then I do the pink. Um, and then I put some 
tonic nouveau drops that are like a crystal drop on top so you could see like it's like an icing sort of like if you were to ice a cookie so this was my first tag that i did um this is that frank garcia sugar cookie paper um but this is the sugar cookie um recipe stamp that i used and some of them are the sugar cookies and some of them are the shortbread so now you can see where i lost the dye and had to use a different dye um, some of them, some of the cookies are in blue and some of them are in pink. So again, this is, I think, uh, an ink color from the ton. I think that's called Arctic sky or something like that. That's why that's light blue. What I did do was match the, um, paper and the ink together before I left for my craft day so that I would have something that matched the paper. And that's the reason why I use that. And this is just seam binding. I have, um, these little tags here. I have lots of little tag shapes that I pre-die cut and just put it in a bag for use later. Um, this is a, a paper tray ink stamp set. It's a really old retired one, which I don't have with me here, but I stamped that sentiment onto this little tag. And I think this tag comes from Ellen Hudson. Um, and there's a spatula. I did this spatula in a different metallic paper than the, than the initial one that I had shown. Um, this, if you could see it right here, it's a different metallic um, color. So this one's like a, a shiny metallic um, paper. And this one you can tell is more of a uh, mute, not muted. What is the word? Um, it's not shiny. Ow. The tip, the word is on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it, but you can see the spatula is different. Um, I like this one better because it's more like a real spatula where it's like stainless steel, like a brushed metallic. Oh my God, that's the word. Um, so this is the, a different version of the tag, but again, it's a different recipe. This is the shortbread cookies and this is the sugar cookies. I have never tried these recipes by the way, but it would be fun to gift this as well to somebody. So here's Another version of the same thing, different tag shape here at the top, the um, measuring spoons, and I put the measuring cups here, and then same blue cookie instead of a pink cookie, because there's more blue on this side of the tag. So you gotta think about these things, right? Kind of balance out your tag with the placement of the colors and everything. All right, so here's another one, and I actually need to cut the tails. Well, no, this is fine. Um, added another tag here. This is an ornament that I got from Stampin' Up! when I was a demonstrator. I think these are retired now. I don't know. But again, there's a spatula with a blue cookie and um, another um, cookie there with the bell. So, shortbread. And then this one has a button on it. So I just threaded the button and there's there's some seam binding at the top and then there's again more cookies and measuring cup and a spatula and then this last one has a pine cone on it a different shape tag i like these really tiny tags they're they're really nice to use um and i don't remember what that's from but i do have it somewhere here so if you're, you're interested in wanting to know where it's from Leave a comment below and I'll see if I can find the die for it. Um, and then more cookies and measuring spoons. So those are the tags that I did while I was crafting yesterday. Um, the, the, the crafty day went from 8 in the morning to I think she had it until 9. I left about 7.30 because I live like an hour and a half away. Um, maybe a little bit less. And we had some storms yesterday so... Anyway, um, had a good time. Thank you again, Carla, if you're watching. Um, and thanks, guys, for watching my videos. And I will hopefully be back with something more to share. Bye for now.